Morning GMS. I'm Eli. And I'm Evelyn. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of January 17, 2022. Hope you all had a great winter break. Spring break will start on March 21st and it will end on April 1st, 2022. The push-up challenge has started for this month, so remember to pick up a log sheet in the gym to participate. Students, we are all now required to wear masks, both in school and on the bus. Please remember to have your mask covering your nose and mouth while in the classrooms and hallways. Yearbooks are on sale at yearbookforever.com. There is a link on the GMS homepage. The price did increase to $40 now. If your child is staying home due to illness, then call 317-889-4040. Also, if you are coming back from quarantine, make sure you wear a mask. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending in the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Lily Williams, here with 6th grade math instructor, Ms. Honeycutt. How are you doing today? I am doing well, thank you. Question one, would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? I am a 6th grade math teacher here at GMS. I have a husband who's retired military and four children. Wow. I only have one brother, so... <laughs> Um, do you have any pets or children? <laughs> I have two dogs. They're both labs, Max and Leo. And then I have four children, all boys. They all went to Greenwood. And my youngest one is a senior in high school. My next one, next oldest, is a senior at Indiana University. And my other two um, are out working. And some of you may know my oldest son, Cody. He used to be a teacher at Westwood. What is your favorite way to spend your day off? Um, it's usually to spend with my family. Um, I have two grandchildren, so sometimes I like to spend the day with them. That sounds like fun. Um, what was the last movie you saw in the theater? Did you like it? Oh my goodness. I don't remember the last movie I saw in a theater, but whenever Sweet Home Alabama comes on, I make sure I watch it. It's my favorite movie. Um, finally, do you think pineapple belongs on pizza? That is a great debate in our family. My husband seems to think so, and I do like it on pizza, but I'm originally from the Chicago area. Pineapple doesn't belong on pizza. <laughs> thank you for coming on our show, Miss Honeycutt. Have a great week. You too. Thank you. Hello. Welcome to Top Training, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Lillian. And I'm Evelyn. Let's get started with number three. According to Today.com, in the newest DC comic, Dark Knights of Steel, Wonder Woman comes out as bisexual. Though we did not know this, it was meant to be in her character all along. They show that Wonder Woman is dating Zala L, oh, Zala jor -El, Superman's sister. Her new girlfriend shows that she is without a doubt part of the LGBT plus community. Number two. According to UPI, a British cosplayer broke his own world record with his Incredible Hulk costume, made entirely of balloons, was measured at 11 feet 7 inches tall. Tom Kent of London, of London who previously set the world record for largest balloon costume with an 8 foot tall Pikachu, just beat his own record with the Hulk costume he constructed from balloons. Kent collaborate, celebrated his new title by allowing children to pop the balloons once he exited the costume. He is very excited about his new record. Number one. According to UPI, a Utah home is drawing the attention of passers after being decorated to resemble a life-size gingerbread house. Virginia Hoffman says she realized a few years ago that her red brick home in Salt Lake City bears a striking resemblance to the Christmas season treats. Hoffman and her husband decorated the house with lots of candy. They added vanilla wafer mix to the house too. The, their neighbors are very shocked to see their new gingerbread house. Hi, my name is Elijah Russell and welcome to the GMS Sports Update. On Tuesday, January 18th, 2022, the boys sixth grade basketball is going, going, is going to go against Indian Creek <clears throat> Middle School and will be at home at five o'clock. The boys seventh grade basketball will be at the first will be at first midday versus Decatur at 5:30 p.m. On Wednesday, January 19th, 22, 2022, 
The seventh grade boys basketball will go against <coughs> Mid State round two at 5:30 p.m. Seventh grade girls basketball will go, will also go against Meridian Middle School at 5:30 at 5:30 p.m. and that will be away. Um, and there will be boys wrestling versus John Wooden Middle School at 5:30 p.m. That will also be away. And at eighth grade girls basketball and uh, Meridian Middle School that will be at 6:45 p.m. and away. On Thursday, January 20th, 7th grade girls basketball versus Beach Grove Middle School uh, versus wait, at 5.55 p.m. and it's at home. Uh, for the 7th grade boys basketball mid-state finals, it will be at 5.30 p.m. and also at home. For the 8th grade girls basketball, that will be against Beach Grove Middle School at 6.30 p.m. and at home. So all of them are at home, if you didn't know. Uh, goodbye and have an amazing week.